Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. We're going to be talking about all of my favorite drugstore makeup products for the year of 2016. If you're new here, you guys know the drill. Please subscribe, give this a thumbs up. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, it's nice to see you back again. Okay, so before we jump into this, I just want to say if you like my new wig, I'll have all the details posted down below in the description box. So go check that out after you've finished watching this. And uh, let's just get right into it. So for my first favorite, this is from NYX. It's called Honey Do Me Up. Now this is like my absolute favorite primer from the drugstore. I love that it has honey in it, which is a natural antiseptic, and it also has collagen. It has these tiny little like gold flakes. I'm not sure that they actually do anything, but it's so nice. I love how it complements stick foundations. I feel like when it's applied right before you put on your stick foundation, it makes it blend out so seamlessly. It also has, just like in the name, it has that dewy finish without making you look oily. It's just, it's such a dream. Plus, since I'm someone that has sensitive skin, it really just goes on so nicely and it doesn't irritate it at all. So also, I know that you guys are going to probably be wondering, what's my favorite drugstore foundation? The answer is I actually do not have one. I have a few in my collection, but they don't really jump out to me. They're not my favorite, and I really just didn't want to put something in here just, you know, to have something for you guys. I wanted to be really honest about my thoughts. So I don't have a favorite drugstore foundation, but I do have a favorite drugstore concealer. So I love the NYX HD Concealer. I feel like it's the best dupe for NARS's Creamy Radiant Concealer, if you use that one. And this shade here, this is Nutmeg. So Nutmeg for me is like the exact same dupe of um, I believe it's called Amand or Amande, I don't know how you pronounce it, in the NARS Creamy Concealer Collection. Just they're the exact same, I swear. So if you use that already and you want a cheaper dupe, get the NYX HD Concealer. So for the eyes, I actually have a few favorites um, of shades and stuff like that. As for actual eye primer, I don't have a favorite one. I just, like I told you guys about foundation, nothing really jumps out to me. I have a few that I'll use, but I'm not like, I can't live without it. You know what I mean? So for eyeshadows, I'll just talk about my first favorite. I actually love the creamy eyeshadows from e.l.f. This one here is the Smudge Pot in Wine Knot. I love that name, it's so cute. And it's this gorgeous, like, uh, creamy pink slash purpley base. And I just think it looks so nice. It can translate well on all types of skin tones. And it's just, like... Oh, and I've been using it since last year, so like since the end of 2015, and I feel like I've barely made a dent in it, and it's so pigmented for the price, like you just can't beat it. Next up, I've got these NYX glitters. Uh, this one is in the color Copper, and this is um, a pigment, actually, so it's a silvery one. I just love these two. I feel like... The price point is amazing. You get so much for how, like, you know, how much that they put in there. Because I feel like a little bit goes a long way with these, you know? And I feel like they're also easy to get a hold of. I got these at Ulta, and they just, they're lovely. Like, I just can't say enough good things about them. If you guys have these, let me know um, which shades that you guys also like and you want me to try out. I'm all for NYX glitters. Moving on to some more face products. So I really love this Master Fix. This is the Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. This is from Maybelline. And it is probably the most finely milled setting powder that I've ever used. More fine than uh, the Laura Mercier one. And what I love is, okay, so it's kind of scary, right? It looks, it's like pure white. And for someone of my complexion, you're like, why the heck would I use a pure white setting powder? It's going to make me look, you know, just, it's going to give me like a white film over my face. But it just blends into the skin and looks so, so nice. Now, 
The only downside that I'm going to say is that this does have flashback. So in the past, they've used it to set my under eyes. And if you know you're going to be taking pictures, just don't use it <laughs> because you'll see that flashback under your eyes. But if this is just for like a work day, a casual day out with, you know, your girls or your man or whatever, this is so, so nice and so affordable, you guys. Okay, so next up, I've got some products from Black Radiance. I love, love, love their brand. I feel like whenever I go to the drugstore to look for them, they're always sold out. <laughs> so when I can get my hands on their products, like I just, uh, I'm just so excited. Okay, so these next two are bronzers. This first one is the True Complexion, and it's so cool. It comes with like a little concealer shade and then a bronzer shade. I obviously use the bronzer shade like way more. And then on the bottom here, they've even got a little applicator that I don't really use, but I think it's helpful, you know, if you're traveling and stuff to have that option. And I love the bronzer because it has kind of a subtle red uh, tone to it. And I feel like it just makes my skin look so, so nice. And this one from Black Radiance is their uh, powder it's their pressed powder that's what it's called and this is in the color ebony I just use it for bronzer I think it's so nice to set a cream bronzer or you can just use it on its own um, it does have a lot of pigmentation so I go just really light in on you know my cheekbones and around my face and it's lasted me so so long I think this is like really great to bring with you if you're traveling or just to have in like your daily makeup bag moving on to blush so the first one I'm gonna talk about is from Milani I mean what would a drugstore favorites be if I didn't talk about Milani like that's what they're known for they're blushes you know <laughs> so this one here is called Rose Doro and if you guys have seen any of my tutorials from the last month I've used this a lot it's so beautiful and it has like a really nice sheen to it it's like a shimmery blush blush and I feel like when you use this like if you want you can totally skip highlighter because you don't really need it it just like it's a nice little subtle sheen and then this one here is another one of my favorites that I use all the time and I feel like I probably need to start using something else because <laughs> you guys see this a lot this is a blush from Shea Moisture and it's in the color Spice I discovered their blushes this year and I can't tell you guys enough how much I love them because the pigmentation is like out of this world. You literally need to just like tap it in there and then brush it on your face. You know, they just like, unlike a lot of other blushes from the drugstore, I feel like you really gotta like work your brush in there and then like really build it up. Literally, just the tiniest amount is perfect. All right, all right, so next up we have lip products, and then after this I'll talk to you guys about my favorite drugstore brushes. So the first one I wanna talk about is from Milani, and I know I've got a lot of Milani and NYX products in here, totally not sponsored, they're just like, honest to goodness, like my favorite brands in the drugstore. This to me is like my favorite drugstore red lip. It's uh, from Milani, it's called matte confident and it's so beautiful I feel like it's that like classy like Hollywood red kind of sultry lip and I feel like like it is truly matte like you can put this on and I'll be like oh I gotta reapply it in like two hours or something it lasts you know like it really lasts next up this is a lip pencil from NYX now if you guys watched uh my like I had like a lip look book I'll link that up above if you guys want to check it out I did this cool ombre lip effect so it's got a black on one side and then on the other side it's got a cool little like red so you can mix the black and the red and I feel like this just looks like so cool and you're totally guaranteed to get people asking you like ooh what are you wearing on your lips or that looks beautiful the black and the red like for that bold lip day when you're just like okay I'm ready I want to go all out this is just like so gorgeous and last up for lips, I have this uh, Milani 
it's like a matte lipstick and it's called Amore Metallics. That's the actual like, you know, subcategory from the brand. And this one is called Matte Materialistic. So it's just this totally gorgeous, like gold, bronzy, like metallic shade. And oh man, like I just can't even say it. Every time I wear this, I have people being like, what are you wearing on your lips? What are you wearing on your lips? What are you wearing on your lips? I went to Gen Beauty and I was wearing this on my lips and I had so many people like as I was standing in line being like, oh, wow, I love your lipstick. What is that? And I was like, it's from Milani. <laughs> Yay, so okay, my favorite drugstore brushes. I feel like the drugstore is an amazing place to get brushes. You don't have to kill the bank at all. You can definitely find some amazing dupes for higher end brushes. So first off, I'm gonna start with some face brushes. This first one is from Real Techniques. It's their powder brush. Man, I love using this to set my face with translucent powder or you know any other powder I think even if you use like powder foundation this is gonna be amazing because it just buffs everything in so nicely it's big it's fluffy the quality of the bristles is great and it's so easy to clean as well another face brush that I love is from elf elf has really great brushes for like super cheap and they're good quality this one is the bronzer brush. So I use this for cream uh, bronzers and I think it's about like six bucks I wanna say at the drugstore. And basically you load the product on and then you just like, I'll line it up like that and then I'll buff it out by going up and down. It's amazing, like you guys gotta try this out. And then this little bad boy is from Royal and Langnickel. It's their highlight and glow brush. So I have used this to highlight, but my favorite thing to do is when I don't wanna bake, I like to load up some setting powder like right on the tip here, and I'll press this into where my crease is. And then if I have like a lot there, I'll just like dust away the excess because it's just like perfect for getting in there. You know, it's got those like smaller bristles. Of course, you can use it to highlight. I've done that too. Um, but I love using this as like a mini little like setting brush. Okay, moving on to some eye brushes. The first one that I have is from uh, Sonia Kashuk. Don't sleep on Sonia Kashuk. Sonia Kashuk is a great brand at the drugstore. Now this is her number 28 brush. It's a flat eye shader brush. And what I love about this is all of her brushes are like ergonomically correct. Like they have the little dips in there where you can grab it, you know, close up and also far away. And I love that this brush is so firm. Like I can really use this to pack in a lot of shadow and pack it on. So it's it's great for that. So this one right here, this is another flat uh, eyeshadow brush and this one is from Wet n Wild. And I just love this because I feel like I can just get it as dirty as I want and then it cleans up real well. And this one, uh, this eyeshadow brush is a little bit more like flimsy. It's not as firm as the other one. And I feel like that works well, you know, also. It just depends on your preference. I like having both because I like having the options. I'm a little bit extra with my makeup, but eh. <laughs> um, and this is also like super cheap. I think it's like a buck at the drugstore. It's, it's amazing. So another e.l.f. brush. This here is uh, the e.l.f. blending brush, also a dollar. And I feel like it works amazingly well for blending out any transition shades, crease shades. It's so, so good. You guys definitely, if you don't have this one in your arsenal, you definitely got to get it. I think I got mine from like Walmart or something. Um, so the e.l.f. blending brush is a major, major key. <laughs> so last but not least, this is another one from uh, Sonia Kashuk. And this is the pencil brush. So I love this because it's got like a amazing like fine tip. So I'm able to really pack in like a 
a highlight shade for my inner corners and it allows me to also blend it out as well. It does an amazing job when you want to blend out your inner corner highlight and your main lid color together, you know, so you have like a nice transition. Um, again, I love the ergonomic handles close up and far away. It's great. Okay, so that's it for my favorite or best of beauty for drugstore products. I feel like the drugstore was like really killing it in a lot of areas and I wanted to highlight that. So if you guys um, love any of these products or you feel inspired to check them out, please let me know down below in the comments. And I also wanna know what you guys have as your favorites. Please let me know because I'm always trying to find something that complements my skin tone or even if you know any cool eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing another um, one of these. It'll be more of a higher end makeup favorite. So let me know what you guys wanna see as well. I'm also thinking about doing a natural hair products like a best of for 2016. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see that as well. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you guys loved this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.